Hello there, I'm Giant Girl with my Pokemon Black. In the last part, we took on the Dream Graveyard, or most, some of it at least, of what we could do, or could access. Uh, we got a free Simi Sage. So that's name. I named it Green. Yeah, okay, so yeah. Or it's Pan Sage, okay, cool. So, that's cool. Uh, it won Fury Stripes, uh, and I got rid of. I think it was Odor Sleuth or something. No, that was for Tepig. Well, I uh, got, got rid of, I think, Weir for Fury Swipes. So that's cool. And then a Baconator. Oh, and from Charge at level 15. So that's cool. Got rid of Odor Sleuth for that. To make room for Flame Charge. And I have Baconator up front. So let's go inside the, let's go inside the Trainer School. And if you talk to the person way in the back. Wait, does this guy give you a potion? I can't even remember. Sure, okay, let's take out the question, the quiz. Which of these following items cures poison? Let that be answered out. Ding, ding, ding. Right answer now. The next question. That item cures paralysis, but which of them wakes up a super Pokemon awakening? Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Fantastic answer. Since you don't know so much to says, conditions like you did this. We get a full heal. Awesome. So it does exactly what the name is suggested. He has all assess conditions. Cool. Yeah. When a Pokemon is poisoned, the HP decreases while it's, it is battling. Hey, Steven. Have you come looking for the gym leader? Yeah, sure. Yeah, he's not here yet. Or he hasn't been at the gym. Uh, yeah. He was talking about Pokemon types until just a few minutes ago. Maybe you walked away past him? Maybe. By the way, Steven, you, you will have... Will you have a battle with me? I want to test how important items are in battles. Well, that, let's see how effective my items are. And maybe I should test how well I can battle without items. Anyway, this is the end of my match, so let's battle. It won't get too rough. It won't be getting too rough, I think. I butchered the last part of the dialogue. Ah. Yeah, Pokemon Trainer Chishiren, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so she, he starts off with his Oshawott? Are you kidding me? Well. Uh, sucks. Well. That's gonna switch out then. I thought it started with this other Pokemon. I thought it started off with this Pro one. I'm pretty sure it's a Pro one. Let's use Water Gunless, of course, yeah. for the vinyl because it'll be super effective then. Oh yeah, super effective, awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna stay in, uh, I, I could have switched for pull line, but whatever. Or for pull line, okay. It's point to choose what item your Pokemon holds. I think is what I said. Something like that. This pull line's level 8 and male. I think there's Oshawa's level 8 and male as well. Okay, that's not the end of the world. That's good. That is good. Yeah. Let's go for the. Let's go for the fury swipes, I guess. Of course, I missed. Let's go for the scratch then, because scratch is for accuracy, I think, then fury swipes. Awesome. Losing two means I still have a lot to learn. I'm sorry, man. Thanks for the hundred pocket dollars. You'll get there, though. Your Pokemon already become a stronger man. Okay, so yeah, I was learning to use items well is definitely important then. Oh, here's Steven. I'll give you these berries. He gives us this, some orange berries. Yeah. I, I give you a Pokemon. If you give this Pokemon a berry to hold, it will eat it to heal up when its HP goes down in battle. But if you give Pokemon man-made items like potions they told, they can't use them. Well, good luck then. Okay. So I, I remember in the last part I said that I would check uh, Puppy to see if she, she had a uh, item for us. I totally missed that. I totally just didn't do that. So I'm doing it now, and it's a great ball. Awesome. So let's give a let's give a couple. Let's give an one berry to both uh, Green and Baconator. That sounds like a good idea. Gave us three one burst, how nice. 
Okay, there we go. One for Baconator. And one for Green. Dang it, I meant to use... I meant to say give. Jeez. There we go. Cool. I don't really need help with Pokemon, so that's good. Let's take on the gym now. Yes, yes, I am the gym leader of this town. You are... Right, so you, you want to challenge the gym. In that case, would you like to... F what was the first Pokemon you chose? Tepig, I see it's weak against water type Pokemon. I think you need to prepare to face that type. I'll be waiting for you inside. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, I'm Clyde. I'm, a I'm the guide for trainers challenging the Pokemon gym. We appreciate your challenge. You we appreciate you challenging the gym. Take this c to com commemorate the occasion. We get fresh water. Awesome. Fresh water is always good. So the way this puzzle works is you have to basically choose the panel that is super effective against this. So like water type moves are super effective against fire types. So you go step there and it'll, you'll go on through. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be battling all the trainers in this gym just for the experience. But yeah. I think this is a waitress here. Yeah. Welcome to Stratiation's uh, gym. C care for a taste, a bottle. I'll serve you up. I'll serve up the first course. Morning, Maxwell. Still a pup. Okay. Let's go for the flame charge. There we go, awesome. Let's finish this thing with an ember. So we have us level 11 males, that's cool. Your turn, yeah, okay, so I, I missed, I couldn't read your dialogue fast enough, thanks for 440 poke dollars. So this time in this grass, because grass type moves are super effective defense water type Pokemon. So there we go. He's in that waitress here. The specialty of Shritten's, uh, uh Asian's gym, uh, four cores, uh, trainer, the Luxie. It's the second course. It's your second course. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. She has a pet rat. Nice. So let's have a female. Let's go with the flame charge first. Level 10 female. Shrekton City Pokemon Gym. I'm Shoei. Uh, I light things up with fire type Pokemon. I'm a water type specialist and my name is Chris. Please make your please to make your acquaintance. And my name is Silen. I like grass type Pokemon. Uh, you see, as for why the three of us um are all here is well er 
Oh, enough to shut up. Oh, enough, listen up, okay? The, the three of us will decide whom you'll bottle. It's based on the type of Pokemon you type of the first Pokemon you chose. That is indeed the case. Yeah, and the partner you first chose was Fire type, so it seems. That is correct. I shall be. It shall be I and my esteemed water type. Water types uh, that you must face in battle. Okay, let's just uh, switch around a Pokemon then. Oh, there we go, nice. Okay, that's easy enough. Yeah, one could of luck for you to you get to battle the best among the three of us. Oh, Chris is so cocky. <laughs> He's very cocky. Let's battle him though. Up, okay. Okay, let's go for the final up, I guess. Let's go for the final up. Oh, I hope she fainted. it. Dang it. She's a potion. Hopefully this will faint it. This only pup is level 12 in male and it goes down. Okay, cool. Pump work, yeah. Part of my hopes in this uh, on my last book one. Okay, yeah, let's go for the vinyl because it's gonna be super effective then. And that'd be great just to do that, yeah. And yeah, I wanna kill awesome. Okay. Going to feel late to cross. Okay, lose me. I can't I didn't really let you die like I'm sorry, it wasn't fast enough. Next for 1,608 poker dollars. Yeah, why are you quite remarkable? It's the gym we we it's the Pokemon League rule, so please take this badge. Cool. Nice. Yeah, cool. Gym leaders, uh, gym badges are proof of the trainer's abilities. Uh, if you have one badge, Pokemon including trade your Pokemon up to level 20, will be without question. We will want you to have this. Get Team Aethia Wake Up, which raises up attack and defense, I believe. I woke up, but yeah. Oh, wait. If you, if you use Wake Up, the Pokemon's attack and switch attack go up. By the way, TMs can be used as many times as you want. That's good to know. That's like This is the first time in the Pokemon series where uh, you, you can actually use TMs over and over and over without them breaking. So yeah, let's talk to the Vice Give again. Yeah, I hope you have remembered that you put a woman when you received you this chip image. Cool, yeah. It's great, eight tons, Pokemon Gym, Cash Chewing, so on, set by trainers, Steven. Cool. Okay. Hi there, I'm Fennel. Uh, Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please follow me. You're going to meet all the Pokemon in the Unova Gym, am I right? On the stairs. Oh, the stairs are right, right, right here. My room is upstairs here. Come on over, go upstairs. Okay. So, like I said, I'm Fennel. And as you can clearly see, I'm a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. Professor Juniper is my friend from college. She asked me to help you with help you guys. So I'll give you something to help you. The city machine is for you. Okay, Jim Z one cut. Awesome. There's some moves that a Pokemon can't use, even when they're not fighting. Uh, with this hidden machine, you can teach your Pokemon a move called Cut. It'll cut down a small tree. Uh, and you use the hidden machine as many times as you want, like a TM. Isn't that great? Yes, it is. But it's difficult to make a Pokemon forget a hidden move once it learns it. As 
and I'd like to ask you a favor too. Uh, the, there is a place called the Jude Dream Yard uh, on the outskirts of Stry Eaton City. It's like uh, some of the dream mist that a Pokemon called Muna gives us. With that, I was able to use Game Sync to collect C files of very strenuous. Okay. Let's teach that to, let's teach that item to, I think, um, to Para, to Princess, I guess. So, yeah. Princess went quite awesome. Cool. Okay, this is Bianca. Okay. Hi, are you looking for a mysterious Pokemon too? <laughs> okay. I'm just really, really wondering how showing dreams work. Yeah, that's interesting. So I heard a Pokemon cry. What Pokemon is it? Hey, did you hear a sound coming from the other side of the wall? Come on, let's go see. Okay. Moon. Moon. <laughs> okay, I'll wait. I'll get Steam Plasma. Found you, Muna. Come on, come on. Make some dream mist. Moon. Mm. Huh? Who are you? What are you doing? Are you talking about us? We're Team Plasma. We battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish humans. What are we doing? The Pokemon Muna and Mar Mar Marsharana emit a mysterious vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people's dreams. We're going to use that to make po people want to release their Pokemon. We'll show those dream them dreams to manipulate their hearts. No, no, no. Come on, spread out that Dream Mist. You're kicking a Pokemon to make you get a Dream Mist? You mean why? You're trainers too, right? That's right. We, we're Pokemon trainers too, but we fight for a different reason. Unlike you two, we fight for the freedom of Pokemon. And setting Pokemon free means that we win Pokemon battles and take Pokemon by force. So on that note, we're going to rescue your Pokemon for you, from you. What? Don't hurt Steven. Yeah, okay, we have to face Team Plasma, I guess. I think this is like the first time, actually. Yeah, you have one Pokemon. It's a pet rat, okay. Let's go for the Vine Whip. Let's get it by, dang it. <laughs> okay, so it's still okay. I'll just use another Vine Whip, I guess. Yeah, too bad this pet rex. Hopefully, gonna go down. And it does, awesome. Cool. We're not taking uh, them seriously because you're their kids. Well, whatever. I, I'm next. Okay. Cool. We have one Pokemon too. It's a pro line. Cool. Okay, this is all she wrote basically. Okay. Yeah, I guess Brian was all 10 females, so that's cool. Green is a level 16, awesome. That rhymed. Trying to win Weed Seed. I guess it could be useful. Um, actually, I'm not going to teach you Weed Seed the green. Uh, keep all moves and give one Weed Seed, okay. 
I think it's a bunch of pocket eyes. I can't believe we lost, but I have to obtain the dream nest. Come on, make it th with the dream nest. Knock it off. What are you two doing goofing off? We team Plasma shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. If you cannot fulfill your duties, this isn't Getsus when he is gathering followers or Getsus when he is trying to control people by tricking them with speeches. Yeah, the Getsus with the plan have failed and uh, he about to he is about to <laughs> ensue punishment. Uh, at any rate, let's hurry and say we're sorry so he forgives us. Sure. What about that just now? Uh, the people, the person called Getsus appeared all over the place and it wasn't real, right? Could it have been a dream? And that Pokemon. How? Oh. I found I couldn't wait, so I came over. Is that a uh, Mushim? Mushina? Masha? <laughs> yeah, they just go off, I guess. Did something happen? Oh, I know. Well, you see, Muna was here, but Team Plasma and Muna. Uh, and Mishorna uh, came and it showed us something like a dream and then put Team Plasma I think I followed that I missed the dialogue geez see Mishorna evolves from Muna so seeing Muna in trouble it used its power making dreams into reality to save Muna what mean, which means wait a second there it is yeah she's so happy as this dream is yeah, it is. <laughs> so, with this, I can confirm we said you two come to my house later, okay? How random was that? Steven, you, you don't go, you go to... Why don't you go to Funnel's house? Uh, me? Well, I'm going to look for Pokemon we just saw now. Okay. So, the right place I can use cut. Oh yeah, I used cut there. Yeah, okay, we're finished done here in the dream yard then. I want to check if uh, we got an item from my pop. Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. Let's take that item. That's a full heal. Awesome. So I can like run out here too. Awesome. Okay, let's go to Fennel's house real quick. She's a big again. Ta-da! Thank you. I got some dream mist, and now I can collect several save files of various trainers. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Very much, or something like that. As a token of appreciation, then you can have the seeker to use. The seeker is a device related to communications, such as infrared connection or an indirect Wi-Fi connection, which I can't use anymore. Yes, yeah, thanks. Yeah. It's a cool thing to have still. It's pretty cool. I'll tell you the time. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You see the secret is activated and the desk screen showed up. If you touch the question mark icon at the bottom right of the screen, you can read about the secret. About game sync. I'd like to explain a little more about the system to collect trainers save files. Do you have time to learn more? Sure, yeah. Now GameSync is can retrieve memories of Super Pokemon using Dream Mist. That's right, we can collect save files of trainers from all over the world. She's all excited about that. What's more, what's more, we learned that if you use GameSync to make Pokemon sleep, it will make, it will have dreams. Then, you, when you wake up with that, Pokemon, its dream becomes a reality in a space called inter Interlink. 
in the middle of the Univision. If you think the game sync isn't the game sync interesting, if you like if you like please send your save file. I've summed up to uh, summed up the, uh, the details in the PC, so please check it if you get a chance. Watcher, well, thank you very much for having for now. Uh this is for me, please take it, don't be shy. Is this the pal pad? <laughs> yeah, it is the pal pad. Okay, cool. You can register friends in the pal pad. After you register, you can link with them to, uh, over those friends over and hit a Wi Fi connection to do all kinds of fun things. You can trade Pokemon, challenge your friends to a bottle, and so on. L let me give you a quick how to on registering your friends. You can either put, put and put your friend's code directly by using the pal pad, or you can use the IR connection featured in the seeker. Then you can register your friend. That's cool. Okay. We're about done here. So I can actually move on with the rest of the game, so that's cool. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon though. Switch, uh, let's switch green with Baconator, yeah. Because Bacon is level, not level 16 yet either. Or, well, so, well uh, green is, but not, but not Baconator. Okay, now that that's over with, uh, we can move on to the next of us, the game. Which I guess we can start right here. But I'm going to end the part right here. So yeah, this has been then my Pokemon Black Walk the Guy part. And the next part will take on what's north of us and hopefully continue on to the next city where we can get a gym badge. That'd be awesome. So yes, it's been Janko again. I would like to thank for you goodbye and I'm going to see you guys next part of my Pokemon Black Walkthrough Guide. <laughs>